Tonight on Realtree Global Hunting, we're back in South Africa with the all-new Benjamin Bulldog 357 Big Bore Air Rifle. Last time out, we took a diker, and now we're looking for bigger game. Africa, the Dark Continent. It's considered by many to be the home of big game hunting and an iconic destination for adventurers from across the globe. The tough terrain, the plethora of game and the challenging hunting conditions make South Africa the perfect location for any hunter wanting to test their mettle. It is here in South Africa's Eastern Cape that the Benjamin Bulldog 357 Big Boar Hunting Air Gun will take on the might of big African game. Last time out, the big boar behemoth took down its first ever game animal, a beautiful common diker, after an intense stalk to within 65 yards of the diminutive antelope. The Benjamin Bulldog took down its quarry with a perfectly placed 145 grain Benjamin Extreme bullet from Nosler. The diker skipped as a shot impacted, but didn't get far. The outstanding ballistic performance of the Nosler bullet deliver the perfect shot with minimal meat damage. One shot fired, one animal down. With the bulldog locked and loaded, we head back out into the bush. It's mid-afternoon and the temperature is rising. The game is on the move and there are herds everywhere. The beauty of hunting with an air rifle is that the animals haven't scattered as they usually would following the thunderous boom of a powder burner. Everything remains peaceful. Everything remains at ease. Using the thick bushes cover, we make our way down the valley. Then we spot movement. There's a watering hole shielded by a cluster of bushes and next to the watering hole is a springbok. Its striking white face markings are clearly visible. I get it in my sights, but there's no clean shot. For an animal of this size, I need to be sure of delivering the perfect shot, and I cannot risk a deflection from the vegetation. Patience is key. The springbok is at ease and continues feeding. We edge into a better position. Springbok usually habitat in herds, but this male is on its own. Perhaps it's been pushed out of the herd by a younger male. Usually these antelope graze at dawn and dusk, preferring to bed down in the shade throughout the day. However, it's winter here now in South Africa and the temperature is cooler, although it still prefers to remain in the shade as it feeds back and forth. Staying in that shade and cover means I don't have a clear shot. The ram heads deeper into cover. We may no longer be able to see it, but if we move, we risk the chance of it spotting or hearing us, and that would be game over. Springbok are renowned for their speed and ability to jump. They can achieve speeds of up to 62 miles per hour in full flight, and can jump 13 feet high. If it bolts, we've got no chance. However, our patience pays off. As it begins to feed back towards us, it steps out into the open. It's a perfectly placed shot and the ram takes just a few short steps before dropping. We edge in cautiously, but the ram has passed. Two shots for the bulldog have resulted in two animals down. The 145 grain ballistic tip Benjamin Extreme Bullet by Nosler has done its job. Good, clean kill.
So, what do you think to that thing, Gavin? Huh? Patience. Yeah. Patience. Now we were just stalking past this waterhole. We're just going to have a quick glass in there, see if we saw any uh, warthogs kicking around. And although there seems to be a lot of activity around here, there's nothing here yeah. at the moment. And then, poof, this little fella's face just pops up there. Now, springbuck is exactly the quarry we've been looking for today and there's got a, they've got quite a few out here yeah. we've seen several different herds but there's so much game here that they're kind of pushing each other and it's been a bit of a chase around but Gavin what do you think to that for a buck no I think it's a beautiful beautiful buck and uh, yeah it, uh, we had to take time to set it standoff it was physically a standoff and yeah. all worked out well patience is absolutely key particularly when you're using a, an air rifle for big game hunting the minute the animal feels pressured, its adrenaline picks up, these things become absolutely bulletproof. They're like tanks. So this one, we saw him feeding a little bit. He lay down. We must have stood waited for him for 40 minutes. Yeah, minute, yeah. Just patience, patience, patience. And sooner or later, the opportunity will present itself. And he just came through the bushes here, is feeding up. The wind is coming from, um, from behind me now, so just, just from his right. And then it just saw enough of a gap in the bush to take the shot. Now, once again, I could see there's a very clear line of sight. There's no twigs hanging down. Just let him take that additional step, slightly quartering onto me. As you saw, I kind of lifted it higher, slightly um, about halfway up the body, because here in particular, we're shooting downhill. So we want to make sure the entry wound is, is high and then it, uh, it comes out and goes through the vitals. So this, I think, is the most important thing. As we can see, the entry wound there, exactly where we saw on the, on the camera, and then here, is the exit wound, which is cut. So it's come through in one shoulder, out of the other. But as you can see, this is much lower on the body uh, than the entry wound. As I say, we're shooting downhill. You've got to give it a little bit of elevation, but this will almost certainly have gone through both lungs, top of the heart, and which is why the, the animal is anchored so quickly. But this once again goes to show 357 Bulldog has plenty of penetration. 53 yard shot, just a little bit patient, not a stressed animal and it's a perfectly clean and humane harvest. So great performance from the Benjamin Bulldog and I think we've got a little bit of work to do yet. Yep. Day two of our amazing South African hunting adventure and the Bulldog has taken a common diker after an incredible stalk. And now we've played the waiting game to take a magnificent springbok. Great hunting, exciting stalk and the perfect shot. So here we have the carcass of the, the springbok we've just taken and just want to show you uh, the trajectory, the path of the bullet and the penetration. Now as you can see it um, went in through this uh, shoulder here, straight through the chest cavity and then this is the exit wound here. Now there's quite a lot of meat damage here on the, on the exit uh, but not as much as we might have expected. It's actually quite a clean carcass given the fact it's gone through both shoulders. Now if you have a look inside, as you can see here, entry and exit. So um, pretty clean wound, would you say? Evan? Yeah, I would say definitely. It traveled fast and through and, and uh, yeah, it's, it's not a lot of meat damage. And as you can see that there are no other shots in here. It is just the one that was taken by the bulldog. So uh, once again, plenty of penetration for an animal of this size. The bullet passed straight through at 53 yards, so I'm pretty confident that it can actually give a, a much, much bigger animal. Yeah. But we're going to take it in stages, and um, you know, very, very pleased with the performance so far. And now let's get out there and, uh, and see what else we can harvest. Happy, Gavin? I'm happy. I'm happy. Been through both shoulder blades. What more can we expect of it? It's done its job. Perfect. Not only did the animal drop quickly, but the carcass is clean, and there's almost no meat damage. To find out more about the incredible Benjamin Bulldog 357 Big Boar Hunting Air Rifle, visit crosman.com. To find out more about Realtree Camo products and to join Realtree's global family of outdoors men and women, visit realtree.com. Follow the links below for more amazing videos from Realtree Global Hunting. Be sure to subscribe to Team Wild TV for the very best hunting videos on YouTube.